Now we've already seen one hybrid tablet from HP and that was the MV X2. But now we've got the second one and this is the Slatebook X2 and it runs on Android rather than Windows. And that makes it a stonking £300 cheaper. So it's a lot lighter. It's part of a hybrid category. It's both a tablet with the normal 10.1 inch screen and then attached to that we have this keyboard dock as well. So it's got chiclet keys and um, a trackpad there and also some docks down both sides. And that just makes it a lot more versatile. So rather than your normal tablet, which you just use for you know, watching videos or surfing the internet, the keyboard just means you can type for that a little bit longer. It's a bit more comfortable than using the on-screen keyboard. This is one of the first Android tablets to come with a NVIDIA Tegra 4 processor. Now what this actually means is that you should get a faster web browsing, gaming and video experience and also longer battery life. So we're looking forward to putting this through our tests and seeing just how speedy it is. And speaking of batteries, this one actually has two. So it has the normal battery in the tablet as any other tablet would and it also has another battery in the base. And the clever thing about this is that it draws the energy from the dock first and then from the tablet. So that means you should have as much juice as possible ready in this tablet to go when you unclick it and just use it as a standalone. And on top of that, the dock will actually charge the screen when you clip the two together. Now on that front, previous devices that have come in this hybrid form have been quite difficult to detach. But this one is actually quite good. All you need to do is slide the catch and it comes out and then connect them together and click it back on and there you go, two pieces again, pretty simple. Now of course we'll send this slate book to our lab for full tests, but we have had it in the office for a week now and my first impressions are that it's pretty good. I really like the fact that you can tilt the screen, it's really handy, and that is an advantage over its competitors. The Surface tablets, for example, when you put the keyboard in, you've only got one position and that can be quite limiting, especially if it's really reflecting and you want to angle that screen for a better view. I also like the keyboard. It's got really nice chiclet style keys, which are really comfortable to type on. And although they are a little bit small and plasticky, you do get used to this over time. And it's much more comfortable than typing on the glass screen. If you're comparing this to any normal standalone Android tablet, you will be impressed, I think. You can use it on its own and it's just like then, just a normal tablet, but it does have the addition of the handy keyboard as well. So it makes it a lot more versatile. But if you're looking for something that's a laptop replacement or something that's your main computer, this isn't the device for you. Essentially, it is just an Android device with a keyboard attached. It's not like the MV, it doesn't run full Windows, so you won't quite have that same functionality. But overall, I think this HP Slatebook X2... You can find out more about this fantastic offer by clicking the link in the description.